creative diagnostics. Let's know more about B cells biology. B cells, also known as B lymphocytes, are primarily generated from hematopoietic stem cells which play a central role in the immune pathogenesis of glomerulonephritis and transplant rejection. There still much remains to be understood about B cell biology in order to determine the timing, duration, and context of optimal therapeutic response to B cell targeted approaches. Let's further to learn about B cells function. B cells can secrete antibodies through multiple mechanisms and their antibodies are the central elements of humoral immunity which against an almost unlimited variety of pathogens. B cells contribute to disease pathogenesis by providing co-stimulation in cytokines to T cells. B cells also play an immunomodulatory role in regulating the immune response by secreting cytokines that inhibit disease onset and progression. The antigen recognition molecules of B cells are the immunoglobulins. These proteins are produced by B cells in a vast range of antigen specificities, each B cell producing immunoglobulin of a single specificity. In the earliest B cell lineage, committed precursors pro B cells IG genes exist in a germline configuration. Early B cell factor 1 EBF1 is one of the key transcription factors required for orchestrating B cell lineage development. During the differentiation of pro B cells into pre B cells, a rearrangement in the heavy chain locus begins in early pro B cells. This which typically occurs at both alleles of the heavy chain locus, at which point the cell becomes a late pro B cell. And then a successful rearrangement means the cell progresses to become a pre B cell. A rough estimate of the chance of generating a pre B cell is thus something less than 55%. Once these rearrangements are successfully completed, Transcription begins and a mature RNA encoding the mu heavy chain is produced, which accumulates in the cytoplasm. Next the pre-B cells become immature B cells, and then develop to mature B cells. Immature B cells exit the bone marrow and enter the blood to complete their maturation program in secondary lymphoid tissues, preferentially in the spleen. Transitional cells then finalize their maturation process and give rise to naive mature B cells. Once the immature B cells leave the bone marrow for the periphery and undergo the aforementioned transitional stages, they develop either into marginal zone B cell or into follicular B cell. The purpose of the germinal center reaction is to enhance the later part of the primary immune response. Some germinal center cells differentiate first into plasmablasts and then into plasma cells. Other germinal center cells differentiate into memory B cells. Memory B cells are long-lived descendants of cells that were once stimulated by antigen and had proliferated in the germinal center. These cells divide very slowly if at all, and they express surface immunoglobulin, but do not secrete antibody at a high rate. The differentiation of a B cell into a plasma cell is accompanied by many morphological changes that reflect its commitment to the production of large amounts of secreted antibody. Plasma cells have abundant cytoplasm dominated by multiple layers of rough endoplasmic reticulum. These plasma cells will migrate to the bone marrow, where a subset of them will live for a long period of time. Plasma cells obtain signals from bone marrow stromal cells that are essential for their survival. These plasma cells provide a source of long-lasting high affinity antibody. B cells contribute to disease pathogenesis in autoimmunity and alloimmunity by presenting antigens as well as providing co-stimulation and cytokines to T cells. Vertebrates inevitably die of infection if they are unable to make antibodies. We are a professional biotech company, specializing in providing clients comprehensive products related to B cell differentiation. 
please contact us for more information. Email us at info at creativediagnostics-com or on our website for a quotation or if any questions. Thank you for watching.